And the reason why we started that teaching is that uh, we usually do it in our church every year before. I teach you, I take through the, uh, the teaching of, on loyalty and disloyalty every, every year. Hallelujah. Please face the front. Eh? Look here. Now, and one of the reasons why we take these teachings is because people don't know that there are certain things they do today that, that will affect their future tomorrow. There are things you do today that you can't escape it tomorrow. That prayer cannot, cannot stop it. It's like somebody now that decides to plant a maize on his land. He's now fasting and praying that in three months' time, he wants orange. There are certain things that prayer and fasting cannot change. That it takes you doing the right thing. That's why throughout these three months, we'll be teaching you on your future. And from the point, and the, uh, the, the point of your foundation. That if you do, if you take your found, if you handle your foundation well, your future will be secure. Now in the first service, we started with a uh, Hebrew, uh, sorry, Psalm 11 verse 3, if the foundation be destroyed. And we talked about two things. Sow a seed of stability by allowing God to put you into position without having to fight or touch the Lord's anointed or constituted authorities. Now, on our study in the first service near, they call be ashing wa wa. Tio je ki olorun le fa edide fa isoke lai se pe ore ore eneke ni bo and i told them in the first service there's what we call constituted authorities now i started by saying even in the home the father is the head of the home and i told them in the first service that i and my wife we analyzed you know we have been in ministry for long we analyzed some women that castigated their husbands before their children to establish their own love in the heart of their children. Most of them have died and their husbands are still alive. That you don't break the authority that God has established. The husband is the head of the home. Even if he's not responsible, don't spoil him before the children. Don't do the things that will make the children to what? Disregard him. Follow what we call constituted authority. And I talked about the home. I mean, your office line, that when you are placed under people to serve them, serve well. That if you don't serve, you cannot be served. Service is a seed. If you serve, the way you serve is the way you'll be served. So we said so many things in the first service that I don't think I'll be going back to again. But let's still go back to our foundational scripture. Scripture, Tafi Kwinle, Ekoi, to my wife, Oshumetha. Uh, Psalm 11, verse 3. Put it on screen. We all will rise up to read together. Psalm 11 and verse 3. Let's have it on the screen. Are you the only one working now? Okay. Where are your cameramen? They're in Children Church. Okay. Now, this background is so, is so local. Remove it. Now, let's stand up so we can read together. You know, it makes me remember those days when we were young. Indian film on Friday, Chinese film on Wednesday. Our parents would say, go and sleep. We we'll now sneak to the sitting room. We turn on the TV. We load the thing. Pata, pata. You know, Indian film is not English. We we'll now be reading this. Ah, and the Indian film is 10 to 1. Timbala, my mommy, don't she say, man, you know, it's so. Eh. You know, it's my one I want to feel close. You know, Chinese film of those days, Wednesday, BCOS, it's not English. It's in English, 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 Chinese film. Hello, no, It's always Shaolin. You kill my master, I will kill you. Our Our parents will not know. You know, life is, is like a bouncing ball. 
is repeating itself. My son was asking me that I should help him dance. I said, okay, let's dance. He said, Daddy, dance happy feet. I said, dance it, let me dance after you. So he was dancing, I was trying to dance. He said, you don't know this dance. I remember what I said to my mom too. I mean, they saw. You know they so sow a good seed. You want to back that will be a lady or more my girl or not lady. You could see how we are here. Do that only here. Life is sitting on the law of what seed time and harvest. You want to back to you be a who seem to fetch a see one to you or no more to you. Whoa, you yourself will not know. Do you know that I discovered that one of the reasons why some people find it difficult to take care of their children, their parents, even when they, when they have it in mind, they don't have it in their hands, is because they themselves did not take care of their parents. So when it is time, they now have, you know, they've grown up. They want their children to take care of them. Their children are born again, but they are struggling. That's why you see that such people, when their parents now die, doors will now open. That's why I sow a good seed. Let's read after the count of three. One, two, and three. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? Let's read again. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? Be seated in his presence. What can the righteous do? The righteous should make sure they re rebuild the foundation. It is, uh, uh, our engineers can testify to that. That it is the foundation that determines the height of the building. The deeper the foundation, the taller the building. The stronger the foundation, the stronger the building. You know, there are some people that they can build. You'll be sh shocked that they are building their houses along what areas that is like a water log. And you'll be shocked. Why are they not afraid? They know what is in their foundation. You too, you must put your foundation right. So let's look at the one we are looking at today. Point number three, we are taking two in the first service. Sow a seed of stability by moving very gradually into position of authority. Sow a seed of stability. I will explain. By moving gradually into position of authority. Now, what does that mean? Don't be, don't be thinking that things happen overnight. Sow a seed of stability by moving very gradually into position of authority. Now, listen. The, if anything is from God, hear me, everything that is from God follows what we call a process. Everything that is of God follows a process. How do you know that something is not from God? You will not see the process. The process will not be reasonable. The process will not be something they can explain. Now, somebody was sharing an experience. True life story. The young man came here. I counseled him. Now, he said one of his friends, they were made guards together along quarters here. The man just came, and he came with a, a, an underboo dog. And, uh, you know, the first day, the second day came with another kind of car. The third day came with another one. The friend now asked him, what is the source of his money? You know, he bought drinks for his friends. They were all happy. And the friends were asking him, show us the way. Huh? May God, you know, like, don't she? We do may God together. You suddenly left us last year, and now you are coming with a Honda Bulldog. It's Babella here. Now you have come with different kind of cars. Concentrate. You know, this man now told them, he said, well, 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 it's not something I can share. If it is of God, you will share. You can share it. It's not something I can tell everybody. We are going to see a so-and-so -so place and so-and-so -so time. Now, when he now took him to uh, the place, he now told him, he says, see, there is one man that helped me to do it. I will take you to the man. So he took him to the man. I'm telling you true life story. He took him to the man. The man did some incantations and told him that, well, they're going to do something for him. They call it brotherhood. That he should look for somebody in their family that he can use for money ritual. Then he looked at his friend. 
That was when he now realized that his friend's mother died and two of his elder sisters. His friend and two elder sisters. He said, now ask the friend, who did you use? He said, the friend said, I used my mom and two of my sisters. Now that's the money you see that I'm spending now. So he now decided, okay, he's going to use his own father. He said, while he now told his friend, his father said, after all, your father is old. Are you going to waste his debt? If you use him, he will die. If you don't use him, he will die. Instead of wasting his debt, why not use his debt to make money? It was at that process that somebody invited him to church. After preaching, he was so touched. He was touched here. And uh, he, he said he wanted to see me. When he came to stand before me, now while I was counseling him, he now told me, he said, sir, I am tired of life. I am tired of life. I've been introduced to brotherhood. And they said to me, if I give, uh, lay down my father, uh, money will come. Money will just come like that. And pastor, I'm tired. But the message you preached today really touched me. Pastor, pastor, what can I do? I'm supposed to go there tomorrow. Pastor, if I don't go, they will kill me. I say, you will go. He said, then what do I do? I say, when you go, tell them that you met a pastor. And the pastor say, both the man that wants to do it for you and you that want to do it, and your friend will die if they do it. So he went there. He met the man. He said when he met the man, he told the man what I said. The man said, who is the pastor? He mentioned my name. He said, the man now said, don't mind him. There are so many pastors in our mix that are members of our cult. Don't mind this pastor, Jerry. Will you do it? He said, he now told him I won't do it. So the young man came and shared it with me. Now, I prayed for him. They couldn't harm him. But listen to that. When you see a lot of people flashing around, good cars. Anybody you do not understand or that does not have a clear picture of the process that brought him to wealth, please run away from such. If it is God, look at it. God does not take people into power without taking them through a process. Let me tell your neighbor, God does not take people into position without taking them through a process. Look at Psalm 66 verse 12. Put it on screen. Let God be the one leading you to the place of greatness. Don't lead yourself or allow men push you. If you lead yourself, please put that scripture on screen. Psalm 66 12. If you push yourself or allow men to push you, listen, you will do things that will affect your future. If you allow people to push you, look at this. God's word says, you made me ride over our heads. Sorry, you made men rise over our heads. We went through fire and we are and through water. Yet, you brought us out into what? Into a place of abundance. Now, gateway to the place of abundance, we went through fire. You made men to ride upon our head. That's where I started from. You made men to ride up over our heads. One, we went through fire. Two, we went through water. But at last, what happened? You brought us out into a weather place. One of the reasons why people are injuring their future by what they do presently is because they are not patient. I want your Nisu room area of secondary school. Oh, not in Soroma. Area of university. To your coma, Kawe. Oh, not in Sorok. Ride. Ah, my ride. I need to have a ride. You know, I need to have a ride. You see them talking about houses in Lekki. You see them, listen, look up, look up. Before now, hear me, there was nothing like Lekki Peninsula. Before now, there was nothing like a Banana Estate. What was raining before was Victoria Island. Now, if you now, because of what is happening in Lekki, want to jump, hear me, Lekki will soon expire. Why not follow the process? At least I want to be VI. They are not important like before again. In those days, if you don't live in VI in Lagos, it's like, ah, or you live in a Keja. When we lived at Adeniji Street, I met somebody, they were saying, in those days, it is the top people in the land that lives on Adeniji Street. They mentioned names of the people that own houses on Adeniji. I said, Adeniji, is it this same Adeniji? Surely, don't expire. But if you follow your own process, 
you will enter what is raining that time. If God is the one leading, it's not going to be auto automatic. You won't step on toes. You will go through the process. I will show you as we go on. When God leads, he does not lead you against the authorities he himself has constituted. How will you use your father for money? How will you use your, your mother for money? How will you use your family members? How will you use your wife? God cannot be leading you against his own law. It's not done. They caught a pastor last week. I was laughing. Prophet Melody. Prophet Melody has a very big church in worry. He's part of those people that prophesy. You are wearing red pants. Yes, I see you. He's, they will prophesy. You think it's accurate. You know how they caught him? He used to pay people that will act all those prophecies. So one of the people he paid was caught. He now mentioned the name of the person that used to contract it. He has an agent. The job of the agent is to look for people. And how much do they pay them? 5,000. 5, they now caught them. They caught the agent. They now, after investigation, they discovered that they were agents working for Prophet Melody. They brought him and put him on Facebook Live. He was doing like this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They said, remove your hand from your face. He said, I've been doing church for long, but since, since it was not working, that was where, why I brought in the prophetic dimension. Follow me. When God leads you, hear me, he does not lead you against the authorities he has constituted. We are going to see the process of how he helped David to, uh, to attain a cost-free journey. You know what I say, cost-free journey? A journey where David got to the top without having to offend any authority. Who call anybody. So, Boshe Dorioye, who sent only Sokia, told him, Conti David is for me, while Jabba, there was nobody like that. Let's look at how God took him, one after the other. We took, I, I put it in A, B, C, D, and E. A, he moved him from shepherd boy to a, to a gifted musician. That was the first one. First Samuel chapter 16, show me verse 23. His first promotion into limelight. They were looking for an instrumentalist. Ah, we, are, we need an instrumentalist. First Samuel 16, 23, put on screen. We are looking for instrumentalist. That was the first promotion of David's life. And somebody said, so it came, after, uh, it came about. Whenever the evil spirit from God came to Saul, David would take the harp and play it with his hands. And Saul would be refreshed sorry, and be well. And the evil spirit would depart from him. That was where I started from. Imagine when somebody is playing, saying, I am the pastor of the, uh, of the church in Nasoro. I am the pastor. It's a kind of promotion on its own. So David was the instrumentalist at the palace. He was the instrumentalist at the palace. He has the destiny of a king. But the first open door that God gave him was opportunity to play instrument at the palace. You are starting your life. You have not read uh, you, are, you, you have not you didn't ride bike you didn't ride uh, you didn't drive a small car you want to start your life and say ah in fact like Davido I'm going to buy jet I'm starting with jet you will soon come down follow process now after that B look at the next thing God did B God helped him to become a warrior that everyone in Israel had respect for. 1 Samuel chapter 18, 1 and 2. After playing instruments, he defeated Goliath and he was rated as a warrior. Can you see from instrumentalist? Let's read. Now it came to pass when he had finished speaking to Saul that the soul of Jonathan was nigh to the soul of David and Jonathan loved him as, as himself. Verse 2. Jonathan loved him as himself. Saul took him that day and did not let him return to his father's house. Can you see? From instrumentalist, position changed to warrior in Israel. He became an army officer. It is a lie. 
It's a lie. Tell your neighbor it's a lie. Sherry, I want testimony. The man she attack in she a balloon she she die die. Olunje ka omo keke kiloma she yahu. Praise the Lord. God just blessed me with five cars yesterday. Tell this coming generation the process. Let them know that you were you were you were working on food. Let them know how you manage to do your business to begin. Are you getting what I'm saying? Let them not be confused that somebody is now saying somewhere. They say, If it is God, it will go through what a process. Am I communicating? After that, see, look at, see, what did God do next for David? God made him a leader of a group of outcasts. For Samuel 22, 1 and 2, you know, after he became a warrior in Israel, there was battle stirred up against him. He ran to the forest. Look at that. 1 Samuel chapter 22 from verse 1. So David departed from thence and escaped to the cave of Adullam. And when his brothers and his father's household heard of it, they went down there to him. Verse 2. When they got there, they went down there to him. Look at verse 2. Everyone who was in distress, and everyone who was in debt, and everyone who was discontent, gathered to him, and he became captain over them. Now there were about how many? 400. Did he start with 400 members? No. Where did he start from? He started as an instrumentalist. I didn't start preaching to you wearing suit. I started preaching in those days with one Kampala. Kampala Yokononi. Sunday, Sunday, the moment war. My four, my war, my statue, my two tun law. And then my Kampala, take Geba Dundada, and my Boshimanduro. And I'll be coming with joy, preaching with joy. I didn't fly to this point. Egg bomb, sir. Egg bomb, ma. In your king food, okay. This generation of children don't understand it. After God made him a captain of the outcast, D, God made him king of a tribe. 2 Samuel chapter 2, 1 to 4. Now, Emma Jagbe, chapter 15, not yet, not until, but when Kota and Soy happened not within a day, yes. 1 Samuel, where are you? Chapter uh, uh, 2 Samuel 2, 1 to 4. God now made him, God wanted to bring his plan to pass. God made him first king over a tribe, not king over all, all Israel at first. Look at it. Then it came to pass about afterwards that David inquired of the Lord saying, shall I go up to one of the cities of Judah? And the Lord said to him, go up. So David said, where shall I go up? And he said to him, Horeb, to Horeb, Vasu. I mean, so Hebron, thank you. So David went up there, and his two wives, also Ainom and the, the Jesuite, and Abigail, the widow uh, of Nabal, the, Cam uh, the Camelites. Verse 3, verse 3. Move, 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 move. I don't have all the time. And David brought up his men, who were with him, each with his household, and they lived in the city of Hebron. Then look at verse 4. Verse 4 was where they anointed him. Then the men of Judah, which men? Was it the whole Israel? Answer me now. Then the men of Judah came, they came and they anointed David king over the house of Judah. But God's plan for him that he's going to be king over what? The whole Israel. But did God give him the whole Israel at, at the same time at once? No! I don't know where this generation has found their own. That's why you see pastors are going to look for charm to bury in the church. So that crowd will come. I always tell myself and my wife, Amy, Pastor, please return me or conjure. I'm not, I'm not in a hurry. I am not in a hurry. If the greatness God showed me 
will not happen in my time. I will be willing to hand over the batting when I'm supposed to leave and make heaven. After all, the greatness of redeem didn't happen in Baba Kinder your miss time. But I pray it happens in my time. But if it does not, that's what I'm saying. God made him king over one tribe. One tribe. Can you see the sequence? See how God was moving him from instrumentalist to a warrior to a leader of outcast then to the king of, of, of a tribe. And that's the problem we even have in Nigerian politics. Somebody will just come out today. You have not become senator before. You have not become councillor before. You have not become chairman before. You have not become governor before. You have not become anything before. You just want to go and become president. That's the problem of Shogure. How do you want to win in the north? Let God move you gradually. There will be sickness. Ah, next week Sunday. Ah, Irritants out of Tony. A Moncotuman family in a car or Elomi had the Dilara year. A married by Oloa Ju BGC. Could it is Otto Maviton? A very ruining. A while and to Yakulu be shakere. Oloa Zogas, good time, my dear Tito. It will all lower mass of you. It will all lower mass of you or more. D. Where are we? Oh, we have taken this. E, e. God finally made him king over the entire Israel in 2 Samuel chapter 5 1 to 4. 2 Samuel 5, 1 to 4. Then all the tribes of Israel came to David at Hebron, where he was a king over a tribe, and said, Behold, we are your bone and your flesh. Vasu. Previously, when Saul was king over us, you were the one who led Israel out and in. And the Lord said to you, You will shepherd my people Israel, and you will be a ruler, uh, sorry, you, you will be a rule over Israel. Which means they knew those days that he was going to be their king, even when Saul was alive. The people that will be members of this church, they know that I'm their pastor. Even when they're in other churches. But they are waiting for Saul to depart. And you know, since they knew, uh, uh, David himself knew, but he didn't kill Saul. Don't kill Saul because you want to become whom God says you should become, but you want to arrive on time. Let God be the one leading you. There are some people that have killed their boss because they want to take over. You won't last. Let's finish that reading. Let's finish that reading. Verse 3. Verse 3. So all the elders of Israel came to the king at Hebron, and King David made a covenant with them before the Lord at Hebron. And they anointed who? David, king over Israel. Wow. It will be to Tibere. It will not be to Tibere. David was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned 40 years. It will not be to Tibere. To this generation, you are too, you are so much in haste. 
you want to you want to you want to purchase clothes we are people that have arrived are purchasing clothes I always tell people, see, no matter where you buy your cloth, it does not really matter. What matters is how you feel when you are wearing what you're wearing. It's not what anybody says. God took them, took David from one stage to another stage. Let's go on. I don't have all the time. Beloved, looking at this, you will notice that if it is God, hear me, number one, it will take a process. Write it down. If it is God, it will take a process. Some days ago now, I've been singing this song. Follow mommy, oh. Follow the remi tele. Follow mommy, oh. Because version the meeting back and like it. If it is God, it will take a process. Uba gbira sorry newspaper. Ko gbira sorry social media. Ko gbira sorry sorry uh Internet, go send to Maria. If it is God, it will pass a process. I was sharing with my wife our our program in Radio Nigeria just finished, and I said I don't want to renew it. They had to call, they sent a message to me yesterday. Pastor, we don't want you to stop that prayer meeting on air. We don't mind. Going out to get adverts. Eh? Me, body, you like about the radio program. We will get adverts on your program to pay the bill, to sponsor it. You just come and be preaching. I've not told Brother Precious this. Yes, just yesterday. They've been calling, I've not been picking my, their, my, their calls. And then you, Shimon said, If it is God, it will pass through a process. You know, if a minister now wake up and say, ah, they are doing advert on Pastor Prince's program, let me go and my own. I have been on radio for the past 12 years. I have been 12 years at the one splash, at the lossy fresh, at the radio Nigeria, at the 32 FM, at the have We have gone round. If it is God, it will take. A process. Number two, if it is God, what's number two? It will not happen overnight. It will take time. Gradual movement forward. If it is God. That's the second thing you must know. If it is God, it will take time. It will be gradual movement forward. A pastor saw me say, Pastor Prince, God has put you in the le- You are now in the level of Jeep. You, are, you were not there when we were trekking around. You were not there when we, we started with Jetta. We moved to Benz. Then to Passat, V6. Then right see, of a Highlander to buy your way, Jumayo. Like she tell eh, they call whatever fair you buy, and my reverse, and you you want to turn new, so you know. But when God put us in the level of Jeep, if somebody sees us now, number three. If it is God, the process will be pure. It won't involve tricks or sin. That's another thing I want you to know. 
procedure ye o ma mo ko ni sese nbe ko de ni si bayo bayo nbe if it is not god it will be full of lies the packaging will be lie the wrapper will be lie the hand i will present it will be lie But if it is God, it will be pure. The first time I was to travel out of Nigeria, the people that invited me said, I should go and look for money for ticket. I told them, they didn't chase me out of Nigeria. If you want me to come, you better arrange ticket. When they saw that I didn't call them back, they called me. You know some of you, ah, travel, move travel, move travel. Move travel, move travel, travel. They paid my ticket from there. I just boarded flights my own. Say I hear. You didn't hear. Then number four. If it is God, hear me, no man will be able to fight it. If it is God, no man will be able to fight it. That's why it is important get it right at the foundation. To ba je ko lo wa nbe ko si je kan ko ra won jode wi scatter. But if it is not God, man will fight it and kill it. Do you see how God took David? From one part to another part. That's what is happening if it is God. And that's what this generation of Christians and ministers don't want to wait for. You say, eh, because Bishop Oedeko has been writing jet, I will write jet. Bishop Oedeko, he said, when he received the vision of Winner's Chapel, he said, 1982. 1982 till now. How many years? Sir? 40 years. If he writes yet, is it too much? Now, you now start ministry. 1995. We started 1998. Let us now be saying, um, church, I just want to tell you that very soon, I'll be moving to the level of jet. If you give me jet now, I will seek for your permission to sell it. What will I buy with it? I will buy property on Liberty Road. For what? For church and for school. Pastor, why? I have not reached the level of maintenance of jet. Because jet, if you pack it, you are paying. If you are flying it, you are paying. So both packing and flying, you are paying. So where do you want to keep it? You can park your car by the roadside. And not even come back in the next one week. Especially if it's an area where yes, yeah, so don't operate. You just park it. Maybe it's tire problem or engine problem. There's one car that gave me problem like that. One, uh, that black, <laughs> I bought it fairly used from one engine. I didn't know that the engineer, have, it was his side car. I didn't know. I saw the car is fine in the face. So I went to beg him. He said, I should come and buy the whole car for 150. Jeep, nice Jeep. I thought, eh, 150. Motor, 100. 100,000 motor. I said, 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 Because CBC can disgrace me. But me, my the church, I belong to Ah. Talo bere mi tele, bro, he must, where are you? Talo mami, oh. Talo bere mi tele, help me carry it. Di yo she wo, loro. Ah. Uh huh. Just remain there. I'm coming. So listen. 
get it right at the foundation so that you can have a secured future. Are you getting me? Get it right here. Well, how to get it right is what I've shown you. Get it right. Don't say as a young lady, ha, ah, pastor, you don't understand my age. If I don't get married at all costs, my time has gone. Get it right. Don't because of your age decide to manipulate to get married. If you do that, the future is not going to be secured. Don't because you are saying, hey, Pastor, you don't understand. If I don't get a child this year, everyone will fall. I always ask some of our people, the way they'll be talking as if, she, she owe you your color money. I used to ask them, do you owe anybody a child? The sister, you don't understand. So some, because of this prayer, they run into places. Ah, hey Joe. If we talk, people will say, ah, pastor is using members to preach. Hear me. If I tell you cases that we have handled, where people get what they, what they have, that some of you envy, when the, when, the, when the time comes that the thing is fighting back and we are praying, they brought one millionaire to me. A solid man in the Badan. I won't mention his name. Extremely rich. The cult where he belonged. They told him when to die. He now came to me. Ah, pastor. If you save my life. Pastor, if you do this. Pastor. So I put him on the altar. And we started praying prayer of mercy for him. And I asked him, will you give your life to Christ? He said, sir, you know at that point, they want to do anything. I'm ready to give my life to Christ. I'm ready to serve God with the whole of my life. So on the day he was supposed to die, he was on the altar. And I was praying. I put my calling on the line. I won't do that again now. In those days, I was a young pastor. I put my calling along the line. If he died, definitely God has not called me. That death jumped in. After the day of his death, he waited one week. He bought two plastics, two dozen of plastic chair, brought it and said, Pastor, this is my gift to the Lord. I have not seen him again till today. One in me, but <laughs> You know, it was in the past. I can't do that again now. It's an evil man, extremely rich. He's still in the battle today. He's part of those people dragging for the title of the SND of this land. I'm telling you two life story. Don't run. Follow the process of God. So that, see, if you follow God's process, at the time you get up, you'll not be afraid of anything haunting you. When I sleep, I sleep well. Quickly, let's move for that. Have I jumped? So, on securing your future, let's look at, we can't look at his life, but let me just brief it. The life of another, one of the people that rushed to the top, his name is Absalom. I will summarize his case because I'm supposed to finish this one today. Absalom, in 2 Samuel 18, 9 to 18, if Absalom had been patient, he would have been the next king. His father loved him. Among his father's children, he was the tallest. And he was in position to be king. Where, where are you? Second Samuel chapter 18 from verse 9. Now Absalom happened to meet the servants of David. For Absalom was riding on his mole. And the mole went under the thick branches of an oak. And his head caught fast in the work. So he was left hanging between heaven and earth while the mole that was under him kept going. Verse 10, fast. When a certain man saw it, he told Joab and said, Behold, I saw Absalom hanging in an work. Absalom and he. Then Joab said to the man who had told him, Now behold, you saw him. Why then did you not strike him? There to, to the ground, and I would have given you ten pieces of silver and a belt. Move fast, move fast. The man said, 
even if I should receive a thousand pieces of silver in my hand, I will not put out my hand against the king's son. For I am, I will see get here next week. For, for in our hearing, the king charged you and Abishia and Ittai, saying, protect for me the young man. Even after the young man has conspired against his father, David said, don't kill my son. He's my son. Whatever he has done, we'll set to it at home. He's my son. Please don't kill my son. Whatever we see, just capture him and bring him for me and get my throne back. You know what happened to so Absalom? There's no time. Later they killed him. We'll talk about that next time. But what I want to bring out is that Absalom did not wait for his time. Let me quickly show you what he did. Number one, he, he, he offended his father when he decided to revenge against his stepbrother. His offense started with him, him re taking revenge on his brother. My daddy say, I should forgive. Ah, I will not forgive you. Every single time you decide to say you will go against God's judgment, you will not allow the will of God to be done in your life, you know what you are doing? Against the process of God for your life. That was where he started from. Then number two, what else did he do? What else happened to him? Absalom offended his father when he now decided to de deceive Israel for himself to become king. I want to become king. Can you, he didn't follow process. He became king by tricks. Now I've told you, if it is God, tricks will not be involved. If it is God, if it is God, it will be straightforward. But he got to a position that God didn't give him. And look at how he died. His, hair, his, his neck was hung on the tree. He hung his neck on the tree. Where he was struggling for life, Joab and his men came to kill him. Follow process. Are you hearing me? Follow what? Follow process. Just let it be as it is going. If you are not the one in your office that will be sent for that international trip, don't kill the person that is about to be sent. Don't say, ah, it is, it is Wale that they want to send. Don't do that. If your boss puts you in charge of a place of work, a company that has to do with finance, manage it well. Don't trick yourself into saying, you know what they say now? Now, I don't know who is listening, but I'll try to put it in a way. There used to be this man. He works in a company as a storekeeper. Everybody knew his salary as a storekeeper. He was not paid so much. But all of a sudden, Things were missing in the store. He started buying land. He bought land. He built a gigantic house on his land. A house that if people get there, they will say, ah, ah, storekeeper, last one, la moe. You are a storekeeper. How come you have built this gigantic building? People started rating him. But do you know that there is nobody in that environment that have suffered arm robbery attack like him? They have sacked him from that place of work. He's on his own now. But there is no year that robbers don't rob him. Why? He himself robbed a company. They must rob him too. Life is seated on what? Seed time and harvest. That's why. Follow God's process. Will you follow God's process? Rise upon your feet. Talo mami o Talo mbere mi tele Talo mami o Talo mbere mi tele Bi o bashe wo loru to mu mi jade si gbanga bi o ba se wo olorun mi 
ตุกพามีมอติเตวิตาราไรซอฟมอนอาจจะอยู่เป็น